Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is your Who is Missing You reading, you guys. We're going to find out who's missing you, all right? What they're up to, how they feel and all that stuff, how they see you, all right? And yeah, if it doesn't resonate with you guys, check out your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, your Jupiter. Um, North Node, if you like, um, make sure you guys check your Venus as it pertains to love, okay? Venus is love. Um, and if it doesn't resonate, you know what to do. So, whoever this person is, they've been lying to you. They've been lying to you a lot, okay? Um, they really do miss you, though. They feel bound to you, Virgo. They feel like they were bound to you <clears throat> with the devil. You have the empress. Okay, and then you have Leo. Okay, so you have Leo here. You have Libra. You have Tau um, Taurus is here with the king of pentacles. Um... Cancer, Capricorn, Pisces, all right? So, you know, it doesn't have to be about the signs, but yeah, you guys don't get hung up on the signs, you know? And um, the energy is interchangeable, so don't get hung up on the genders. We all carry masculine and feminine energy, all right? Um, my channel is not biased in any way, so all genders are welcome. And um, I love you guys, okay? So if you guys would like a free personal reading, comment below. All right, I'll send them to you right away. As soon as I can, I will send them to you. Everyone's going to get one if you ask, okay? So that's my gift to you. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And woo, let's jump in. All right. Oh, my God. You know that song, You Are the Apple of My Eye? That's what I'm hearing. You are the apple of my eye. That's why I'll always be around. You are the sunshine of my life. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, you have the devil and the sun, y'all. Like this is kind of this is kind of karmic, okay? Um, I don't mean karmic like karmic, karmic. That's a karmic. No, I mean like this is the situation is karmic. It's karmically meant to occur. It's karmically happening over and over, and it keeps happening with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups talks about walking away. In this case, it's in the reverse, and it's right over the Sun card. So somebody loves you a lot, okay? Like this, whoever this individual is, they're like invested in you, Berg. They're invested in you with the Eight of Pentacles. Like they know, like this is an investor. This is someone who's like, nope, nope, nope. This is someone who does their taxes. <laughs> They do other people's taxes. I'm hearing this. Maybe this isn't them. Maybe this is you. I can see you doing that. Okay. Or you're like, this person's a banker or they have like, um, like this is someone who dresses pretty well. Okay. Look at that watch he's wearing. He's, he's very handsome. Okay. He's very handsome. He's dressed to the nine. This is an investor. Okay. You might be an investor. Um, but I feel like this is, this is them. This is how they feel about you. The eight of one, the eight of pentacles is like tunnel vision, right? This is someone who's very invested in this connection. They're like, whether you guys are together or not. They're solely invested on you. If you guys are dealing with a Leo, please check out that reading, okay? Um, because this card came out in the position of how Leo was being seen. So if you guys are dealing with a Leo, check out that reading, okay? Um, or maybe you're not dealing with a Leo. Maybe you and the Leo have been at a distance for, I don't know, 10 years or whatever. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you're the apple of this person's eye. They love you. They care about you. They feel like they can't forget you. It doesn't matter how hard they try, okay? Whoever this person is, they don't know what to do with their time. They're just, I feel like too, they're just passing the time. That's what I'm hearing. I'm just passing the time. I'm just trying to like, I'm making the best of my situation. That's what I'm hearing, okay? And then we have the four of pentacles and the four of cups. So the number four could be significant. You could be seeing four, 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 which talks about protection, okay? Um, I just heard Jay-Z, 444. 444, I think his album, was his album called 444? Um, or, I don't know. Um, I'm hearing Jay-Z, that song, 444. Um, and then we have the Chariot, okay. Whoever this person is, they're, they're not going, um, they're kind of going through a really hard time financially. Yeah, with the Four Pinnacles, like, I see fro frozen bank accounts, um, yeah, like they're having a hard time financially, you guys. Okay, and I feel I don't I see like someone's car being repossessed. It's kind of making me a little sad. All right, um, yeah, I don't feel like they deserve this, but I feel like whatever they're doing, it has to do with some sort of addiction. Okay, the devil. Yeah, I feel like they're getting over this addiction. Yeah, they could be a Pisces moon. Pisces moons can be very. Um, they could have a very addictive personality. They like to indulge, okay? So if you have a Pisces moon or if this person's a Pisces moon, they may be a bit indulgent, okay? Whether it be alcohol, drugs, um, I don't know. I'm hearing gambling, okay? 
they have an addictive personality, whoever this is. They're getting over it though, okay? I feel like they're really, like, they're really taking, a, um, they're taking something in account here. Like, they're taking the, um, they're becoming, I feel like they're, be, they're they learned some sort of lesson here, okay? Because I feel like with this, this card, it's, it's talking about Saturn. So, yeah, with the, with the, 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 the hang woman, this talks about, um, seeing things from a different perspective. So, it's like right over top of this. So, I feel like this person is learning a harsh lesson that was very karmic. I do get like, this is something that is reoccurring, like something they keep going through over and over in their life or in many lifetimes, okay? So this could be a lesson that was pertain pertaining to you or something that they have not gotten over and, and pertains in, <laughs> in regards to someone else. I can't even talk, oh my God, are you dealing with a Gemini? Goodness gracious, okay? <laughs> All right, yeah, and the Ace of Swords, too, and how they see you, it's in the reverse. Um, I don't know why, I feel like, I think like this, this person sees you as, like, their north node purpose, or, like, they're supposed to be working with you, but there's a lot of, um, I'm hearing this person's codependent, okay? So that could be the thing that's holding them back. I feel like they lied to you about this codependency. Yeah, I don't know what that's pertaining to. It could be about the devil. It could be about the devil, um... Yeah, like, this could be, like, addictions. I'm hearing sex. Okay, sex could be an Like, this could be, a, like, a real addiction this person has. Like, sex sex addiction. Yeah. Um, they could be lying about this, you guys. Like, I feel like this is a very smart person, whoever this is. But they have a hard time focusing because they have, a, like, they're codependent on something here. This talks about codependency. Yeah, and it's kind of keeping them from their north node purpose. And the north pur node purpose could correlate with yours or, like, it's in alignment with your rising sign, which is your compass, okay? Because like, I feel like um, you guys know, like, do you know your rising sign? Like, that's your whole chart's, like, compass. That is the compass. Like, it's, like, it's what it's sort of leading you to your north node. It's, like, your purpose, okay? You could be a north node trying your rising. Are you trying? Is your rising trying your north node? That's, like, oh, my God. I think I just posted that to you on my Facebook. Um, you could be a North Node trying. Like it's trying to your rising. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I feel that's like your compass. Your rising sign is your compass. Your North Node is your purpose. So like, I feel like, oh my God, this person could be a North Node trying or they're, they're um, the rising is nor the right the rising is trining or yours is i feel like you're supposed to work with this person you guys i do with eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles like you're supposed to work with them i but they're invested in you romantically i i feel like this is love you guys because you have the empress here in the obstacle with the two of swords it talks about indecision and then the empress in reverse is she's kind of like she's kind of like infertile okay it's an obstacle position though it's like this person doesn't this person has seeds to plant but they don't plant them that's what i'm hearing yeah, they they have seeds that they're supposed to plant with someone, but they're not planting them. You guys could be dealing with a twin flame. I'm also hearing. Yeah, this is giving me twin flame vibes, you guys. One of you is in the dark and the other one's in the light. One of you is going through a shadow, like a dark your dark night of the soul. Yeah, this talks about some of you could be going through like your shadow, your it's it's part of the path. Like if you're if you're going through that, it's okay. Like don't be alarmed. I feel like um if that's you, it's okay. All right, Berg. You, you, it's gonna, it's gonna pass. You're gonna purge. It's gonna be horrible. <laughs> it's gonna be horrible. But you're gonna get over it. It's gonna be okay. Um, some people die when they go through the dark night of the soul. Did you know that? Some people die because it's so intense. It makes you kind of like suicidal. Um, I think someone's going through like this person. I'm telling you, when I tell you this person going through something, either this is you or this person. Somebody is going through a really dark time. Okay, they they're losing a lot. They they feel very um they feel very stagnant. We have two very stagnant energies here. Um, that like I see a car being repossessed. Anything this person plants, it's not getting off the ground. It's making me really fucking like melancholy. You know. Um, and then you have the four cups too. It's like the four cups talks about missed opportunities. So, like, it's in the reverse. I feel like there's something coming back around, but you got to catch it, you know? Someone's going to get another chance here. Like, you or this person's going to get another chance, and I feel like someone needs to be paying attention. This needs to be out of their life, okay? If they want this chance, this toxicity, whatever this is, karmic situation, it could be a, a person they're dealing with, 
Um, it, it has to be gone. They have to be fucking done with this individual or they have to be done with this substance abuse. Whatever this is, they need to be done with it. The sex addiction. They need to get help. Somebody needs to get help here if they want this connection because I feel like whatever it is, it has them, it has them sort of bound, you know? Like, there's a lot of that energy here. This is talks about codependency, you know, the hang woman's in reverse. She kind of, like, up in the air, you know? Typically, this card means, like, you know, seeing things from a different perspective. It's sort of, like, conflicted. It's, it's, yeah. You guys, oh, if you're dealing with a Pisces, because this is Pisces, check out that reading. If you're dealing with Leo, or if you have Pisces in your chart, check out that reading. Because I pulled way too many cards for Pisces, and I don't know why I did that. So, I don't know. I feel like a lot of signs are connecting to Pisces this week. Or you have Pisces, like you need to look at your 12th house because the 12th house is our, it talks about hidden enemies and then it's like the last house. So it's, it's our ancestor. It's the ancestor house. It's also like the shadow. Okay. So I don't have seen with the, yeah, this is like your shadow. Somebody needs to look at their 12th house and see where it's at. You need to look at your 12th house. Okay. And um, if you're going through a dark night of the soul right now, um, the 12th house might actually help you heal and get out of that. And then you want to correlate it with your, your, your Chiron. Because your Chiron is like a wound. Chiron is like a wound. I had a hard time, like, for example, I have Chiron and Gemini. And I had a hard time speaking growing up. I'm serious. I never talked. People did not think I could speak. And it's, I don't know if it's because I have autism or what, but, like, I'm not stupid. Like, I'm not a dumb person. I'm very smart. I just have a hard time communicating, okay? And that was where I have I have Chiron and Gemini, which is our communication. Um, So, like, look at your Chiron because right now I feel like you're being called to, like, really, really, like, explore it and heal that part of yourself okay because i don't know i'm hearing that with the devil in the 12th house the energy is it's, it's saying the devil you know someone could have capricorn 12th house you know saturn i don't know is it debilitated there i don't even know man um like i'm i'm new to astrology i'm not new to it i've been studying it for a long time but i don't understand like i'm still learning trines you know um, conjunctions and all that stuff but yeah um i don't know like look at your 12th house because i'm hearing like it's correlated to your you want to correlate to your um to your Chiron. I don't know, I'm hearing like you need to heal that part of yourself. There's a part of you that needs to heal. I'm also seeing like the moon sign. Yeah, you need to look at your moon because like that's the mother, right? There could be some sort of um trauma around the mom. Someone's like experiencing trauma around their mother. This person this is my this might be what's holding them back from being with you. It's like they have issues with their mother or something like that. Okay. Yeah, it's not unheard of too. Like if you have Pisces moon, oh god, you know, or Leo moon. I'm hearing Pisces moon for someone here because of this um, hang woman. Because, you know, that's the 10th house. Yeah, Capricorn is the 10th house, right? So I don't, I'm hearing like someone's a Pisces moon. So your your 10th house is in, um, you have an MC Qu Aquarius or you have um, 8th house Neptune or something like that. I'm hearing 8th house Neptune, Capricorn in um, Scorp or Cap Capricorn in Pluto. No, not Capricorn and Pluto. Um, eighth house Cap Capricorn. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so I don't. I, oh my gosh, someone needs to look at somebody needs to heal something here. Okay, because I feel like this is what's keeping this person from you. Um, it doesn't stop them from thinking about you for whatever reason. They can't stop thinking about you. Okay, because like you're, I feel like you're the sun. You know, they're you're this card right here, the sun card. Okay, they're gonna be returning to you, Virgo. You have two eights in your rating, and you have two fours. Um. One, two, three, four, five major arcanas. The number five could be significant, the number four, and the number eight. Okay, you have five major arcanas. One, two, yeah, three, four, five. The number five could be significant, all right? You know, fifth house, that's Leo. So you could be dealing with Leo. I'm hearing this is about love, you guys. Fifth house is love. I heard you could have Virgo in your fifth house. This person could have Virgo in their fifth house or something like that, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a, you know what? I'm going to get an oracle message really quick. And if you guys made it this far, please leave a comment below, you guys, if you enjoyed the reading. I know it was a little discombobulated. I'm really tired, you guys. The sun's not out. I'm taking my vitamin D. I'm taking my freaking, you know, my B12s. And I'm still tired. <laughs> I'm still fucking tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. Oh my God. I cannot wait till the sun comes out. When the sun comes out, I'm so energetic. You can see the difference. Like you can really feel the difference in my energy when the sun is out. When it's summertime, that's when I come out, you know? <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and get one Oracle message. You guys, if you would like a free personal reading, comment below. Okay. We have envy. 
I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Okay, you and this person, you or this person might have an issue with this. Okay, I'm hearing envy. This person could envy you. I don't know. I'm hearing their mother. So you have like a bond with your mother. I'm hearing the mother. Something about the mother. You have a really strong relationship with your mother, Virgo. And this person kind of envies that. Oh, or maybe this is your mother who's keeping you guys away from each other. What? Maybe that's okay. That's not this is not for everybody, but I'm hearing your mama is or somebody's mama is like um, she's very invasive because she's envious. That's kind of weird. Like, okay, like for like a, like a while back, um, my kid's dad, you know, dude, this was years ago. I went to California. I went there to see my family, man, and she acted all weird towards me. She said, Oh, I'm jealous, you know, because I went on a trip to go to my hometown. Like, why are you jealous? I should be able to see my family. That's weird. Like, you live near your family. She lived near her family. Anyways, I think this is a toxic mother-in-law or something who's keeping keeping this person bound. What? That is so creepy. Oh, my God, that is so creepy. Oh, my God, you're so weird, whoever you are. <laughs> If you're doing that to somebody, that's that's weird. Let your kid, let your child grow up. Let your kid go have their own family. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing that. This could be someone's mother who has this person like sort of tied up. This person feels tied the fuck up, man. I feel like they they're always giving them something to do. Like, I don't know, I'm hearing that. Someone's like, hey, can you come over and do this? Can you can you fix my TV? Knowing goddamn well she knows how to fix her own damn TV. <laughs> It's always the TV, right? It's always the cable box or something. I don't know. I'm hearing somebody like, yeah, can you come over and fix? Can you move my couch? The couch doesn't need moved. It doesn't need moved. Okay. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not one of those people. Like I, I don't give a damn. Go see your mama. But damn, you a mama's boy. Somebody's a mama's boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just got that feeling. I don't know why. Anyways, we have the palmistry. <laughs> Palmistry cards here. If you guys want to start reading palmistry, I highly recommend you picking this deck up. Awesome. I love these cards. Oh, my God. I'm so glad I incorporated them. Um, you can find this on my main channel, Leo Sun Pisces Moon. All right. Leo Sun Pisces Moon. Oh, we got a whole bunch. Okay. So I'm only going to take this one. It said left hand dominant. Oh, that's very unique. This is like a new one. Okay. But, yeah, you can find these. It looks just like this, the cover, okay? You guys can find it on my main channel, Leo Sun Pisces Moon. It says left hand dominance. You or this person could be left hand dominant. You write with your left hand or you do a lot with your left hand, okay? We have a left hander is more creative and favors intuitive thinking. You act on gut feeling and are not afraid of failure or things going wrong because you know you will learn from this. The worst thing you can do is lose faith in your ability to release or realize your goals and objectives, okay? So I don't know, I just heard goofy footed. So somebody's a skater. I was kind of goofy footed. I was goofy footed. I, I'm a goofy footer. <laughs> I'm right-handed though. That's the that's the goofy part. I'm goofy footed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get that. Like, how do you push with your left foot? That don't make sense to me. I push with my right foot. So like I don't know why. I'm like, that's weird. Like, because I'm right-handed. It makes sense, right? To do that with your right foot. I don't know. But they said that they call that goofy footed. Anyways, I heard someone's goofy footed. Like maybe you're a skater or this person's a skater. <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta get out of here, you guys. Comment below if you guys want a free personal rating. All right. And I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Give the video a like. It really does help the channel. Okay. And subscribe. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.